Hey Alright guys, okay it's going to be the last one today. Uh, thought I'd just quickly run you from a PS3 collection for the hell of it, why not? First up we've got Ratchet and Clank, uh, Tools of Destruction. Great little 3D platformer, absolutely awesome graphics. I mean, it's not playing a cartoon, it just amazes me how good the graphics are. Uh, yeah, it's a fun little game that, it's uh, one for the kids and for the adults, very good. Next up, Motorstorm. Uh, not a very big fan of this one. Uh, it's a bit boring. It's a standard racer, glossy graphics. Not an impressed with that. Ridge Racer 7. I uh, love the Ridge Racer game. Wasn't so keen on Ridge Racer 6 on the Xbox 360. I've always a bit shit. I don't think it's got that right. Um, this one is pretty decent. I mean, the thing with Ridge Racer is not one that you're going to sit down and just complete because it's just one you just want to pick up now and again for a quick race. And uh, it works well. It's good fun. But, uh, yeah. Next one, Street Fighter 4. Now this one's an interesting one because everyone's raving about this game. Uh, me personally, it, the gameplay is solid and the gameplay is a lot like the SNES version so I like that. The problem I have with it, um, the music's a bit shit so I don't really see what the hell they were trying to do there. And you have to turn the stupid American accents off and make it you know, Japanese. I'm not going to go Americans, by the way. <laughs> I'm just going to go. The voices just sound really ridiculous. So it's stupid acting and it just sounds awful. If you put it in Japanese, it just gives it a bit more authenticity, I find. Um, yeah, I just. Like, it, it, it just seems ridiculous when you've got like, Ryu, who's got a, supposed to be Japanese, you've got a friggin' American accent, or Chun Li, who's supposed to be Chinese. What are they thinking? It's just, oh, I don't know. It just. Didn't feel right to me. Still plays solidly though, that's the main thing. Uh, next one's an interesting one. 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. Um, I only bought this because a few people online, not professional reviewers, that said it was really good and it was surprisingly good. Um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, oh, it's not worth 40 quid though. <laughs> but, um, it's, a, it's, yeah, it's just a one and gun basically. We feel you just talking all that shit and swearing a lot and there. Uh, it's funny because it takes the piss out of 50 and he doesn't realise it, so it's worth playing it for that. This one, completely overrated. Killzone 2, load of crap. I hated this game, I absolutely hated it. What a waste of money. Got all the graphics, yeah, so what? It looks beautiful, so what? It was the best looking PlayStation game, the best looking game on any console. I don't give a toss. The game sucks. The, the, the aiming is absolutely appalling. I mean, everybody that I've seen online plays free aim. I can't stand that. I like to click the button and aim and actually take headshots. You can't do it with this game, it's just it's too fiddly, it's just oh, it's absolutely diabolical. It's as if they never bothered to playtest the freaking game before they got it out. And it's got on here on the front, PlayStation magazine gives it a gold award, well they would because I've been paid by Sony, but it's just shite. I just do not understand what people like about this game, it totally sucks. Kills on bollocks. Next up, Little Big Planet. Awesome game. Also overhyped, but very good. I, do, I mean, they always do this anyway. They always get games like this. They go, oh, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, you can make your own stuff. Oh, it's, yeah, well, it's fun, but don't go on the bleeding top of it. Uh, next one, Mirror's Edge. Not as highly rated as it should be. I really like this game. Um, completely different, original. It's got the old first person perspective. But I like the slant on it with the um, free one. I thought it was really cool and it works really well. It's surprisingly well, actually. I thought the controls were amazing. Because this kind of game I would have expected to fall on its ass, but yeah, I thought it did a superb job on that. Next one, one of my favourites, Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. What a game! Now that that is quality. That's how you make a game properly. That's classic. You know, you got the graphics, you got the audio, you have got fantastic acting, brilliant cutscenes, really solid core gameplay. It's one of them games you just keep coming back for more. Completed it a couple of times now. Um, and I do them on the hardest setting and then you unlock an even harder setting which really is bloody harder. But it's just great, it's just really fun, there's really good humour. As I say, the acting's awesome, the cutscenes are superb, the game itself looks and sounds amazing, it plays really well, the cover system works really well, the weapons are great and varied. Um, some people have complained about near the end when you get those weird creatures, but I don't know, it kind of adds a bit to it. I mean, you know, it's supposed to be an adventure game, you are supposed to have something different. It'd be boring if it's just generic soldiers, wouldn't it? I love it and I can't wait for the sequel because it's just looking brilliant. So yeah, if you haven't already bought it, go and get Drake's Fortune. It's fantastic. If you haven't got a PS3, I want to play this. Next up, Grand Theft Auto 4. The only thing I can say about this that no one else has said, but this game, I ain't found a game yet for the modern consoles since playing Grand Theft Auto 4. That, uh, 
It's just Frank Lampard said title four to four, and that was it. I can't find anything I want to play now because this game is just so bloody good. It's just perfect in every way. Perfect sound, perfect story, perfect acting, perfect gameplay. Even the controls of the cars are perfect. It's like driving a real car. It's just so weird the way they did that. And it's just excellent. I played it through twice to get a different ending. Uh, the first ending I got wasn't too bad. I could handle that. The second ending I got, right, let's put it this way. If you haven't played the game, I'm not going to give anything away. But each time you complete the game, a character dies. Um, and the second time I got, when I got through it, the second ending was not a nice ending. The character they killed off, I was really pissed off about. But it's just brilliant, and the character of Nico is really funny, and it just you can't help but laugh. No matter how repetitive some of the speech will get, it really does make you laugh. It's just grand thought, and you've got to have it. It's brilliant. Then we got Saints Row 2. Now, I played the first Saints Row on the Xbox. I loved that a bit. It was absolutely superb. Saints Row 2 is great. Um, as long as you've got the right mindset, because it is very crass and uh, there's no hold bar with this game, they don't give a shit really. <laughs> it's just funny as hell, I love it. Uh, 007, uh, Quantum of Solace, be way better than the film, film is shit, game is brilliant. Um, I really like this, I mean, I'm not a big fan of uh, Treyarch, I think they make really crap first person games, but they, they go quite well on that. I mean, it's not the best FPS in the world, don't be wrong, but. But what it is for movie license is pretty solid. Heavenly Sword. Uh, could have been so much better. Looks and sounds amazing. Gameplay, not as good. Um, I just find that all these Heavenly Swords, Devil May Cries, these kind of games, I just don't get the attraction. They're just so boring. Right? I'm not going to get panned for that, but I find they're really boring. Call of Duty, World at War. Crap. Simple as that. Uh, <laughs> I think the American levels are brilliant. When you, um, sorry, not the American levels, the Russian levels. When you're fighting the Japanese, I just don't, I can't be asked. I like killing Germans, I don't want to kill the Japanese, it's boring. Call of Duty 4, Modern Warfare, uh, totally overrated. I don't play online, so for me it's totally overrated. I think the single player, first time through, brilliant. Loved every minute of it. But then I just, it's not one of the games I'm going to keep coming back to, it's just not. I don't like Modern Warfare, I prefer to go back and kill Nazis, but that's just me. Hence, Medal of Honor, Airborne. Best Medal of Honor since the original on the PS1. He ain't got it bang on with this game, absolutely spot on. The uh, the idea of dropping out of the airplane was really cool, you know, it's a bit different. But it's just the core gameplay is rock solid, it really is good. Even the AI is good, and most importantly, the collision detection actually works to a degree. Because on most Medal of Honor games, the collision detection is appalling, and you shoot someone, they just stand there. Very, very annoying. Okay, Mercenaries 2, World in Flames, absolute load of shit. Worst game we've played in years. It's Absolutely appalling. It took forever to get released and they ruined it, so I'm not happy. Resistance 2, don't like it. Don't think it's anywhere near as good as the first one. I think they concentrated too much on the graphics and not on the gameplay. It's just, I just can't get into it at all. It just bores me shitless. Resistance, all of man. Launch title, couldn't have asked for a better launch title. I love first person shooters and this, this is absolutely superb. Great fun from beginning to end, fantastic acting, really good, strong story. Action's excellent, the weapons are fantastic, the enemies are excellent. It does have parts in the game where you just want to throw your joy out of the wall because it's that bleeding infuriatingly hard. But I, 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 it just, it's so good, you just keep coming back and you just want to keep playing it and playing it and playing it until you finish it. And excellent. So there you go, that's my PS3 collection. Uh, as I say, if any games come out that are worthwhile, I will actually get them. Uh, <laughs> Unless Wolfenstein's really amazing, I won't be getting anything until the new, Drake's, uh, new Drake game, as it among the thieves. But uh, we'll wait and see. Anyway, bye for now, guys.